Finally, some types of plant viruses will induce necrotic symptoms, so you actually get some tissue death associated with the infection by the virus. Probably the most common virus that I see that causes this sort of symptom is something called impatient necrotic spot virus. This particular virus will cause problems on a variety of different types of greenhouse grown ornamentals, including impatients and begonias. In this particular case, an infected begonia plant. You can see a lot of little flecks of dead tissue in the leaves on this plant. There is a white arrow pointing to a larger necrotic area where you can get a little bit of a sense of some ring spots in the tissue. Whenever I see begonias with this sort of symptom, I start thinking about impatient necrotic spot virus. The next thing that I would probably look for in this plant would be the presence of thrips because this virus is transmitted by thrips. And if you're not familiar with what thrips are, let me give you a sense by describing how we scout for this particular insect in a greenhouse. You take a plant, put it on a white sheet of paper, tap it gently, remove the plant from the white sheet of paper, look at any of the dust that's on that white sheet, and if the dust runs away, those are the thrips. These are extremely small insects. They tend to get into floral parts oftentimes, although they can feed on leaf tissue. And they can cause a lot of damage on their own, but from our perspective, they're important because they move this virus around. If I really wanted to confirm that this plant is infected with impatient necrotic spot virus, then I would use a lab test. They're actually what are called immunostrips. They're akin to home pregnancy tests, and these tests have been designed to detect specific types of plant viruses.